Okay, let's continue with number nine. So number nine says, in the accompanying diagram, a box is at rest on an inclined plane. Which vector best represents the direction of the normal force acting on the box? Well, this one, if you know what the normal force should always look like, isn't bad. Normal force is that force that always opposes gravity. So, for example, if we're on a flat surface, we have a box. Gravity is going down. Normal force is equal and opposite to that. So it's always going equal magnitude, opposite direction of the gravitational force. So on a flat surface, it's really easy. Gravity goes down, normal force goes up. But what's really going on here is that the normal force is making a 90 degree angle. It's perpendicular to the surface. And that principle always needs to apply, even when we're on an incline. Right, so for example, if we have a situation like this, we have a box on an incline, we know gravity is going straight down. And we know that the normal force, like I was just saying, has to make a 90 degree angle with the surface. So it needs to look like that. Now, if this thing, let's say, is sliding down this incline, let's say our velocity is directed downward. Well, we know friction is opposing my motion. So friction should be going this way. Normal force should be going this way. Gravity should be going this way, Fg, or in other words, the weight. Or in other words, mass times 9.81 should be going down. So what we need to do is we need to look for the option that looks most like this. So we know normal force. Oh, it's just asking for the direction of normal force. Okay, well then that would be C. Right, C is making my 90 degree angle with the surface. So that one wasn't too bad. Just like I said, keep this picture in your head. Know this, friction opposes your motion, gravity goes straight down, and normal force makes a 90 degree angle with the surface.